I've become. Some soldiers get to be heroes. They're sent in to save people, to liberate countries or topple evil dictators. They only send me when they need one thing. Please just let me go. I don't know anything. Answer my questions. And you can walk out that door. If I knew, I'd tell you. See, well, that's a problem. Because I know you know. And if you don't start telling me, I'm going to be forced to hand you over to my friend here, Dr. Schuler. He was once one of the finest surgeons in the world. Now he's an expert in a field of memory recovery. 
one, I gotta tell you, his methods are a bit unorthodox. Whatever he can do to me, they can do to me. That's true. Nice neighborhood. this don't you touch her then tell me what I want to know it's unfortunate when others have to suffer for our sins. All right, all right, I'll tell you, just please don't hurt her. Tell me! You were right, it was the senator. Who paid him? It was paid through a private investment firm. But it was actually a pharmaceutical company named Same side. Do you have any idea how much fucking work you just blew to pieces? The general knows you completed your assignment last night, but instead of delivering the target, you brought him to your own facility. Colonel, is that you? Yes, it's me. I can only assume that you're trying to extract information from him before handing him over. Information that we are trying very hard to keep secret. Well, I had to know if he knew, didn't I? Unfortunately, you knew that he would be in a position to compromise us later. And why would I do that? Let me see, why? For money. We've known about your little retirement fund for quite some time. Got me all wrong. Permission to terminate your operatives. Permission denied. I have operational immunity, and you know it, dickbag! But you are on notice, Mordred. The general will condone no further independent action. Thank you. Now, now, you! You obey like the dog you are! They say fetch, you fetch! They say leave it, you walk away. Don't feel too bad. We're the same, you and I. They use you just like they use us. So don't you judge me, son of a bitch. I used to be like you. And you what? So was he.
can't believe she's gone. Your grandmother was a very special lady. That this is mine. She must have loved you very much. Do you know this place? Mm, yeah, very well. I grew up here. Well, it's quite a peach. You don't find lots this size anymore, and it's really quite desirable. Now, if you'd like, I could get it cleared out, cleaned up, and give it to a realtor to put it on the market for you. I'm in no rush. Really? I thought you big city folks were always in a big hurry. Well, I think I'm going to be staying here for a while, if not permanently. That's quite wonderful. This neighborhood could stand an injection of new life. The biggest excitement we've had around here is a few years ago when the old dam broke, cut a new route in the river. However, it did make a very nice waterfall within walking distance of here. I'll have to go check that out. Well, I've got to get going. Now, you be sure to call the office if you need anything. And be sure to come by tomorrow so we can get the paper signed and have the title transferred into your name. I will. And once again, I'm very sorry for your loss. Your grandmother was well loved by everyone, my wife and I included. She was the most selfless person I've ever met. Thanks. Don't you start with me. I'd love to have let you kill Mordred and that lackey butcher of his. But as I'm sure you're aware, there are still operations that require certain splinter skills. They're psychopaths. Too true, too true. They're getting harder and harder to control every day. But for now, their services are still required. I'm looking at your after-action report from that CEO of Golden Solar Technologies last week. You did remember to make that look like a suicide, right? Proximity alarm? Affirmative.
Report. It's a woman. She's walking straight for us. Probably just a local. Better to be safe. Go on, I'll cover you. Oh. Hi. Hello. I'm a grain. I just moved into Libby Jackson's old place. She was my grandma. Anyway, I think I might be your nearest neighbor. Anyway, I made you these cookies, chocolate chip, kind of like a reverse welcome wagon, I guess. Thank you. I don't mean to be pushy, especially because we just met and all, but are you okay? What? You're bleeding. Oh, yeah, boating accident. It looks worse than it is. Can I help? No, I'm fine. Are you sure? I mean, I don't know what I have over at my house, but I'm happy to go to the pharmacy for you and pick you up some things. I just need to rest, thank you. Okay, sure. Um, if you change your mind, I'm just way over there, <laughs> number 298. Thank you. What do you think? Like you said, local lady with too much time on her hands. All right. I got a picture of her. I'll run it just in case. And don't eat those cookies. Tell me something. What if she had a gun with intent to kill? Hmm? What if she had a sniper hiding behind a tree? What then? What if I with honor? Honor. You would have died with honor. You idiot. You don't bring a sword to a gunfight. And listen to me, I don't want to die because my point man wants to run out in the yard and play fucking samurai. All right, you have a sidearm, you have a gun. You are a soldier, I want you to use it from now on. Do you understand? Sir, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir, you bet your ass. How about the location, still good for you? Affirmative. Await further instruction. Oh, it looks great. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, you've already done so much. What was your name again, dear? A grain. And if there is anything else I can do, let me know. Oh, no, thank you so much, but I can't accept any payment from you. But I, I thought you were looking for work. No, I heard your husband fell ill and I just wanted to be helpful. Oh, there is actually something you could help me with. Anything, dear. Where's your nearest pharmacy? What if I with honor? Honor. You would have died with honor. Some soldiers get to be heroes. They only send me when they need one thing. Uh-huh, just as I suspected. 
Excuse me? You didn't change your bandages. So I brought you some in case you don't have any more. And there's some other antiseptic stuff in here, so. Very kind. Please, come in. OK. I hope you don't think I'm weird. I'm just trying to go out of my way to meet people, you know, and if possible, help my new neighbors. I see. So, do you work here, or do you live here? Um, both. So, you said you were trying to be more helpful. Yeah. Is that odd? Coming from a stranger? Not at all. It's just, you know, this uh, silly little quest I'm on to better myself. It's a good goal. I don't know. It's just uh, this three-step thing I'm trying. What steps? Well, um, step number one is to admit your mistakes and regrets. Then step number two is to start doing selfless tasks. And then you move on to the third step. What's the third step? You know, I don't know just yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out.
call you back. Excellent as always. Hey, you injured? You need me to call a medic? No. All right. Well, Intel ran a background on your neighbor, and she is clean. So odds are that she is not a threat. But I'd like you to go over and do a quick check. Low level's fine. Now? I cannot keep you stationed here unless we know that she is clean. We don't want our best guy murdered in his sleep or poisoned by cookies. So give me time to analyze your findings here. Go on. Photos and video collected for the Peeping Tom Zount Agency. They've got the right mixture. Too bad for them. Mixture? These documents are copies of a researcher's findings. Some busybody doctor found a cure for malaria. Isn't there already a cure? Negative. Only treatments, no cures. Till now. Well, the same doctor is now administering this goddamn cure, and this doctor needs to die. Here, you'll have to inject it directly into her heart. It'll look like she died from her own medicine. She? I realize this is your first assignment to a female target, and I knew this was going to be a little sticky. Try looking at it this way. There's too many of us. People, I mean. Think about it. There's over seven billion and counting. Last thing we need is to have a cure for hell anything, especially cures for sicknesses that affect people in the third world. Why? Look, my friend. Each human throws away piles of trash every day. Each one of us craps out pounds of infected feces every single day. We burn fossil fuels at an impossible rate we're destroying the planet. So many of us that we're soon going to run out of the basic resources, like fresh water. And hell, on top of that, we're kind of a kind of a shit culture anyway, aren't we? I mean, most people listen to rap music instead of Mozart. They prefer watching reality TV instead of experiencing Shakespeare. Do you actually think we need to extend lifespans, really? We destroy nature to make space for concrete and smog. Nature created malaria to fight back, and we need to be on Mother Nature's side. I'll get you a transport. Do as you're ordered. She needs to die.
Tango Hotel 1 1. X ray 38. Follow me, Major. Hi. I stopped by yesterday. You weren't here. Yeah. I had to go out of town for work. I figured. I thought you probably wouldn't have time to go to the market yet, so I made you some dinner. Thank you. Are you okay? Sure. Question, that three-step thing you were doing. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I discovered what the third step is. I mean, it's obvious, really, but I can't tell you until you do the first two steps. What is step one again? 
Step one is admitting your mistakes and regrets. You know, it might help if you get them out in the open. You first. Well, I'm already on step number two, but I guess rehashing step one won't hurt. Especially if it will help you. Uh, and honestly, it's fitting that we're in this town when I admit this, because all of my mistakes can be focused on my rash decision to leave here years ago. OK, <laughs> here we go. Uh, my grandparents raised me in this town, and in typical teen fashion, I rebelled. I left home without a word. I wanted to find love, a career, you know, life in the big city. Adventure. <laughs> Would have been a great adventure if I found something other than dead-end jobs and barely enough money to survive on, but... Did you find love? Nah. No, not the real thing. Thought I did, more than once, but no. You know, my problem was I chose the wrong kind of guy, right? Guy is nothing like my grandfather. I chose the progressive thinker type guys, you know, guys more in tune with their feelings. But that is just an excuse for selfishness and self-righteousness. Yeah, it took me a long time to figure that out. So, no. No, I didn't find the real thing. You know, what's worse is I never gave the two people who truly cared about me a grandchild. Now they're gone. And I have nothing but wasted years when I look back. You know, every birthday, every anniversary, it's just a constant reminder of it. You know, by the time my grandfather was my age, he had served his country in a war, started his own business, my grandmother was a nurse, raised a family, and then she raised me when my parents died. The only thing I've managed to do is be fired from my jobs, if I didn't quit already, and most recently be dumped by my boyfriend, who is now gay, and moved to Washington to be a lobbyist in the marijuana industry, so... Your grandparents must have been wonderful people. They were. Well, those are my mistakes and regrets. Your turn. I only have one, but it's hard to explain. Try. It's a question. Go on. One that's been bothering me for some time now. Well, what is it? Would the child I once was be proud of who I've become? Well, would he be? Like all boys, I imagine I grew up to be tall, strong, and truthful. Always on the side of right. You know, like Superman, but without the powers. As we all know, once we grow, we start to compromise. I've compromised so much. And just recently, so much more. If the five-year-old I once was could see me now, he wouldn't recognize me. Never thought about it that way, but I understand. You know, you said most boys dream about being Superman, but most girls want to grow up to be princesses, you know, selfless and kind like in fairy tales. And of course, what princess would be complete without her prince charming? I've never even come across a guy who brings me flowers. You are kind. I'm trying. Well, do you want to see what step number two is?
right, do you see that lady down there? Her son is sick and needs an operation. He might die. She's doing everything right. I mean, you know, she has health insurance, but the copay is still 20 grand a year. She's working three jobs in order to pay for it, and it's still not enough. What's your plan? Well, I just inherited some money, and I want to give it to her. Don't you need that money? No, I'll be fine. Besides, figured out what the third step is, remember? I remember that you didn't tell me what it is. Well, you'll find out soon enough, because you're going to help me. How? She's too proud to accept the cash, but I think I found a way in order to trick her into giving her the money without hurting her pride. You have a custom car at the warehouse? Yeah, that's my boss's. Can we borrow it? I have the keys. Perfect. Okay, we have to hurry, though, before she goes to work. Just follow my lead, okay? Just had to stop and admire these ceramics. God, such great artistry. Oh, thank you. Oh, are you the artist? I wouldn't call myself an artist, but yeah, I made them. I would. It's really more fiddling than anything else. Of course, I haven't had much time for that in the last few years. Um, would you consider selling this one? Oh, um, nobody's ever asked me that before. I could pay you. No, just take it. Call me proud, but I can't accept a gift from a stranger, no matter how nice she may be. Okay, why not? Just pay me whatever you think it's worth. Okay. Are you kidding? No. No, I, no. I thought you were just gonna give me like 20 bucks. You are a very talented artist. You've earned this. No, I, I always dreamed of being an artist, but, but I'm not famous or anything. Well, it's a good thing that fame and talent don't always go hand in hand. Um, like Van Gogh, for instance. I mean, he only sold one painting his entire life. Are you sure? I, this is a lot of money. Do you see my husband over there? He's a rock star. He's famous and filthy rich. Between me and you, I mean, God love him, but he makes way more money than he's worth. No, I can't. It would be taking advantage. Lady, he makes twice that every night on stage. That's yours. This is mine. Deal? Deal. Thank you. Thank you.
feeling inside us right now? That is the third step. And that's why I couldn't explain it to you. You can't put those feelings into words.
forget I was coming with orders? I went for a hike. My apologies. I'm not going to give you a hard time about it because I know this one's going to sting. It's on the shelf. Like I said, we don't decide things, we just follow orders, right? I'll be honest with you, this one surprised even me a little bit. But it's unavoidable. Killed plenty of fathers. It's sad, but nothing new. Yeah. I know, but this time you need to take out the sun. The boy. Yes. Because taking out the boy will send a very powerful message to his very powerful daddy. One of his business dealings is contrary to the national interest, and he needs to withdraw a bid so that our company can get it. He's been asked nicely. He has been told. He has been warned. Once he's buried his boy, he'll come around with no further action needed. And the boy? Collateral damage. Damage? Now, that's an interesting word. The hell is that supposed to mean? I'm not as damaged as I once was. Oh, is that girlfriend of yours filling your head with shit? Yes, I know. You've been spending a whole lot of time with her. Don't let her ass or any other parts of her body ruin your career. I haven't been the person I'm supposed to be, but that's changing. What, have you gone mad? You're, you are a soldier. That's right. And I won't play the criminal anymore, no matter how you try to justify it. Sorry you think of it that way. However, if you're that determined, I can have you reassigned. If you want a non-combat post, I can arrange for an honorable discharge and a pension. So I can just go? Certainly. Right out that door. With my heartfelt gratitude.
soul to do it. You know where you are? No. This is where I killed your husband. Because he defied me. I told him if he defied me, I would harm you. But I lied. The good doctor here is going to do that. I have nothing to do with my husband's business. Just please let me go. Don't be fooled by his demeanor. He doesn't know how to appreciate a beautiful woman like you. He was assigned too many horrible jobs. He got his mind twisted. He lost himself somewhere along the way. Minds twisted. What used to be fun is now horrible. And what was horrible is now fun. But we need him. And he asked for so little. So we have to appease him. any consolation. At least he will be enjoying himself. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Would the child I once was be proud of who I've become? 